missed, what have I missed, what have I missed, what have I missed? to another video. The channel is called The Twin Engine Corsa. But I haven't worked on this thing or done anything with it since probably the back end of summer 2022. Just about getting to be able to get some free time to be able to get back on it and sort out the issues. We rebuilt the back engine, we put it on the dyno and it started pushing water out the header cap. I know that's a form to literally say stop what you're doing and investigate. Normally in the past I've got excited and I've just carried on and ended up causing damage. But the older I've got and the more expensive this thing's got, I've learned my lesson. I'm pretty confident we lifted the cylinder head on the dyno. So tonight, me and Tom, we're gonna have a pizza, we're gonna sit in the garage, we're gonna take the cylinder head off and see what's going on. First inspection, inlet manifold off. Let me show you what I see. Let me explain what I think. We'll carry on and see whether I'm right. So let's grab my torch. So obviously this is obviously a new engine. Everything's fresh. This is a new gasket. This area here, around this area, is common for leaking, pushing water out because of this fine line. Hence, there being some sealer on there to stop it from blowing through. But I feel that's possibly not happened. And rather than water go into the cylinder fully, I think boost has been going into the water jacket fully. Because if you look at the valves, that valve on the right is very, very dirty and cloudy, which looks like it's had some water contamination. Where the rest of them, let's, let's find out, gold and shiny, gold and shiny, gold and shiny. It's very hard to see on the camera, but that one valve there, you can just probably see the difference, gold and shiny on the left, very dull, like it's had some water damage. So possibly I think that could be the issue. We're going to obviously carry on stripping because for the sake of, I don't know, an extra couple of hours tonight, Tom, main engine guy, he'll do the work, whatever's needed. It's just best to be safe than sorry. Let's refresh the egg gasket and let's not just stop here and presume that's the fault. So let's carry on and let's dive deeper. I'm going to this You in it? Not really, but keep going. Let's get a bit of a your side. We're going to cross it. Yep. Take it, take it, take it. So, cylinder head is off. To be fair, everything looks nice in here. Everything looks clean and tidy. The surface looks good. Can't see nothing on the block that could cause any problems. Cylinder head wise, we think we 100% think it's that gasket as well because if you look at, I don't know if you can see it because it's been wiped, there's a lot of water staining, you know, around this area. There's a lot of water stainage. We're convinced if you hold this down, the slight, as I get on the camera, the slight bump has caused it to maybe leak. You see the bump there now? We think that could be the issue. So that's part of the issue. But we also think the cylinder head's lifted because you can start seeing some, some marks where, it's, where the gasket's gone. And if you look at the actual balls, where is it? The center one, if you can just see, there's a blow mark. Just starting to come there and just starting to come there. We found the problem, quite an easy fix. Head's off. Tom's literally done nothing other than sit on a chair and just smile and have a brew because obviously he came late. Usual Tom, head's off. It's ready to go up to all the engines to be kind of skimmed and checked over. Fingers crossed by the end of the week, we'll have this back on. So let's wait and see. Let's see the second part of this video. Should be head back on, should be back running. It's Friday, the cylinder head is back. Tom's done his work. It's all skimmed, valves clean, checked. Everything been once over. Couldn't really find more, possibly a slightly slight bone in the cylinder head. If you look at the skimming video, you'll see where the first pass, it just doesn't take it. I think there's been like seven foul taken off, which is bare minimal. So people always talk about head gaskets and what to use. This is the head gasket I use, which is a standard Z20 LET, good make, like an L-ring, uh, Victor Rhines type one, just a good quality gasket. And that there is far better than any Kometic known to man so that's what we're using there's the cylinder head all nice and shiny from being on the, the rotler skimmer car's ready let's put it on and let's see how far we get before the end of the evening the car's back together the only thing left to do but if you can see it in there is the timing belt's not on because whilst it's in the car it's a bit of a nightmare because you have to take the wheel off look through the window and it's a bit of a fiddle and at this time of night 
I'm not going to run it because of the neighbours. First thing in the morning, put a belt on, fill it with water, give it a fire, and I'm pretty confident now we've got a good one. So, timing belts on, everything's prepped, double checked all the nuts and bolts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how you bleed the water system on this because it is basically one giant radiator and one giant water system. And obviously you've got ups and downs all over the place. How do you bleed it? And this is to also show you that when the car breaks, as in I start seeing some issues, I can automatically know why for you to understand. So this is the fill area. You've basically, you put your water in and this is the highest point on the car. So as long as the water's around this area, jobs are good. Water goes in, airlock, obviously you need to get the air out. So what I've done is I've put a little bleed screw here. So what this does is you undo this and it pushes the water level upwards, 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 because that's the second highest point. And then all the air comes out. It makes bleeding it very simple. But what also to tell you about diagnosis is if I fill it up and bleed the water system, if that head of that um, water tank there starts having some bubbles, bloop, bloop, every now and again, if when the engine's running and all the air's out the system, there's something wrong. We need to strip it down and investigate because that there is the very simple way to tell whether a water gasket's leaking, uh, the water pump's not right and that's leaking, a head gasket's failed. That's what you're looking for. The engine's too idle and to see whether you get any air in. So let's put some water in and fingers crossed, let's say this back engine fire up and run. So we're back in the game this year. Trying to fire. Round two. Just found the vacuum line for the map sensor off. Let's try again. She's not happy. Not happy. She's not firing, so let's get a laptop and let's have a look what the Olmex is saying. So, I'll tell you what we're up to. She's just coughed. HT leads her on the wrong way. And I'm going to have to do it. Tom, he actually copied the ones off the front. It was late at night. I can only think he's 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 got way laid or, or he's not fought. And he's, got, he's been upside down. So, basically, I've swapped around the coil leads. She's coughed. Uh, I've had to jam in a cable tie into the throttle stop because, because the... Uh, Throttle cable system's that complicated. I need to put a new wire in, clamp it down, and I've not got one. So that's just to give it a minute little bit of throttle. So technically now, it should fire. So let's have a go. back running finally after all this time of i wouldn't say i fell out with it it was the fact of it broke i had plans over winter other things and other opportunities came up like with the touring cars like with the rallying like some other stuff in the future that's going to come you'll see so i've had to jump onto that rather than work on my own stuff hence it being sat for a little while but obviously with it back running and the dyno date booked, we're back on and we're going to get out this year and have some fun again with this car. What are this year's goals? This year's goals are kind of not where I wanted it to be because what I really wanted was, was this. I'd purchased two ECU Masters Classic. Now the reason why I've gone for the Classic and not the Black, that ECU is the only one on the planet I can find which has a twin engine facility. And even ECU masters, when I've spoke to them, have no idea why they put it in. They could only think it was from Autograss. So it has a twin engine facility, so you can program in rev matching, power matching. You can do a lot of trick stuff in the ECU, behind the scenes, to control the power management of the car. 
which is obviously what I need. Let's do that at the end of this year, at least get out and start using the card this year. So the goals technically are, we're going to go out, we're going to get mapped again, back end of the month, fingers crossed, that'll all go to plan. It should do, feel more confident this time, that should all go to plan and we shouldn't have no issues. So get the card mapped, then I can get to some events. But in between all that, I've also bought some crusty, I'm going to sandblast them and paint them all, Corsa B rear and steering knuckles. That is what the rear suspension setup uses. And what I'm doing is, if you watch the video of the twin engine Sirocco, he explains how to fix the bump steer issue that twin engine cars that run front end suspension on the rear it sorts out that issue which my car suffers from so i bought them so i can adapt them to get rid of the bump steer so technically the main goal for this year is i don't think i'm going to go out and break any records i'm not going to try and, and and set the world on fire get it to work get it to drive get it a bit reliable as in it's taking some some runs and it works type of thing and i've got nothing to fix on the car sort out this rear bump steer and fingers crossed I can get at least one clean pass up the quarter mile where I don't have to let off the throttle because of this bump steer issue. Finally jumping on my own car after the channel being called the Twin Engine Corsa and me not working on it for nearly 12 months, I think. Good to be back. We'll be out soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next video. Uh.